What's up, O-Doers, and welcome back. Stealthy Wood recently jumped on that merch bandwagon with our sister company, Stealthy Wear. Our online store is, I mean, as the kids say, popping off. But we're thinking of designs much faster than we can produce and ship them. But luckily, Odoo's Gelato Connector makes it easy to turn designs into customized print products. As a global print-on-demand or POD platform, Gelato handles all the production and shipment for products, so we don't have to worry about the logistics of fulfillment and shipping. So let's get started and see how the Odoo Gelato Connector takes designs and turns them into printed masterpieces. So before we configure the Gelato Connector in Odoo, we need to grab the API credentials and webhooks from our Gelato account. An API key is a unique code that allows Odoo to communicate with Gelato's system. It acts like a digital handshake, making sure only authorized apps can exchange information. Webhook is an automatic notification system that sends real-time updates from Gelato to Odoo whenever something happens, like when an order is confirmed or delivered. Okay, it's time to grab the API and webhooks from our Gelato account. So here on the left side of our navigation bar, we're going to select Developer, and we want to click into the API key section. From here, we're just going to click Add API Key. And for the name, we're just going to type in Odoo, keep it something simple and rememberable. And from here, we'll just click Create Key. So this generated our key, which we'll grab by clicking this Copy to Clipboard button. And we're also just going to paste this into a separate notepad because we're going to need this later. But no worries if the API key gets lost. We can always repeat this step to create a new key. Okay. Next, we're just going to set up a webhook to receive automatic order updates in Odoo. So under the same developer section, we're just going to click webhooks this time. On this webhooks page, we're just going to click add webhook. And in the URL field, we're just going to type in our database URL. And under the events field right here, we're going to select order status updated. And this ensures that we'll receive order changes automatically in our Odoo database. Directly under that in our method field, we're just going to select HTTP post. And this is the request method used to send data from Gelato to Odoo. Next, we're going to tick this checkbox right here, which allows us to take authorization to this webhook. And let's also make sure that the header in Gelato's product matches the header in Odoo. So here in the header name field, we're just going to type in signature. And these are all backend settings that allow Odoo and Gelato to exchange information, ensuring that your orders and updates are processed correctly. Next, here in the header value, we're just going to click generate key. Then we'll go ahead and highlight and copy the newly generated header value. And we're going to save this for later, so make sure to add this to your notepad as well. And finally, we're just going to click Create. And now we're done with this step. Now let's connect Gelato with Odoo. So here in the Sales app, we're just going to head to Configuration and then to Settings. And then we're going to scroll to the bottom to our Connector section. And here we want to make sure that the Gelato connector is enabled. Next, we'll paste in our API key and webhook key. Then we're going to click Save at the top. And now we're ready to sync our Gelato product to Odoo. OK, it's time to make sure that our information is correct in Gelato. So we're going to click our profile picture here in the top right corner, and then click Settings, followed by Company. To make orders from Odoo that go directly to Gelato, we need to make sure that our company name and billing address are correct. This looks good, so we're going to head over to the side menu and click Templates. And today we're going to sync our Possum Trucker cap. So we'll hover over this, click the three dots that appear, and then we're going to click on Copy Template ID. So the product template ID is a unique identifier that links an Odoo product to its corresponding template in Gelato. It allows us to automatically pull in product variants like the color options in our hat. In this case, we have white and pink. 
This makes sure that our products are consistent across both platforms. So let's see this in action in our Odoo database. Back in Odoo, we're going to navigate to our sales application and click products at the top, followed by products once again. And to create a new product, we're just going to click new in the top left corner, and we're gonna add a name to this product, which will be our possum trucker hat. We're also going to update the retail price to match the price we have in Gelato, which is going to be $20. Next, we're going to click into the sales tab. And here in the Gelato section, we have our template reference field. That field, we just need to paste in our template ID from our Gelato product. When we paste that in and click away, the synchronize button appears. And when we click synchronize, Odoo gives us a confirmation that our product and its product variants have been successfully synchronized. So after synchronizing, a print images field also appears. And to make sure the order goes through the correct product, we're going to click this front embroidery button and this pop-up window appears. Here, if we hover over the camera, we'll click this edit pencil icon and we'll go ahead and upload our product picture for our possum trucker hat. Then we'll click save and close. Now it's time to add the product variant pictures. So we're gonna click the variant smart button at the top and we'll start with our pink variant. So we'll click into the pink possum hat trucker and click the edit button and just upload our pink product image. Then we'll save this and we'll use the product variants breadcrumbs to do the same thing to our white possum trucker hat. Once we save this, we're all set and now our product variants are ready to go. Once products are synced, they're ready to sell. We can sell Gelato products through our e-commerce store or directly in the sales app. Our customer, Chris Luda, has been dying for our new hats and wants to put in a direct order. So to do that, I'm just going to click new in this upper left hand corner, and we're gonna add Chris to the customer name field. So here in the order lines, we're just going to add our possum trucker hat. And he said he wants five of the white ones. So we'll just update this accordingly and then click confirm. Now we have to make sure to account for shipping in our Odoo order. So we're gonna click this add shipping button right here. And we'll just use our standard delivery rate and click get rate. This pulls up the standard delivery price from Gelato. So now we'll just click add. And then to confirm the order, we'll just click confirm. This order has gone through and Gelato will handle the production of the garments and ship them directly to Chris. And we're free to work on creating more designs without the hassle of order production and fulfillment. And that's it for today, Odooers. We walked through how to set up our Gelato products in our Odoo account. Now our customers can order print on demand items directly while we focus on creating more amazing designs. I'm gonna go sketch some more rodents, but I'll catch you in the next video.